What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can create your own custom SEO GPT in under 10 minutes. So let's dive in. Now, prior to beginning, you want to have your end goal in mind. What do you want your GPT to be capable of? You don't want to provide it with too much information because then it's going to become a jack of all trades and a master of none. So we want to really specialize and zone in on one aspect. For today's purposes, we're going to create an SEO specialist, but not just any SEO specialist. We're going to create one that's an expert in on-page SEO, off-page SEO, and technical SEO. So the three main pillars, we got them covered. I provided ChatGPT with a little information about what we're looking for. And at any point, you can go in and click configure to see exactly what ChatGPT has started to provide. So my instructions to ChatGPT were to create a GPT that is specializing in on-page SEO, off-page SEO, and technical. It took that information and it provided me with this output. So at any moment, you can always go into the configuration and edit it if it doesn't sound like it's given you exactly what you're looking for. And from here, we also have some basic conversation starters. How do I improve my website's SEO? What are the latest trends in SEO? Can you explain on-page versus off-page SEO? And how do I conduct effective keyword research? Now, this is very beginner information. So if you're just starting to learn SEO, this is a great resource. But again, that's not exactly what we're looking for. We want a GPT that's going to go in and offer those actionable recommendations based off of our website. So we'll fine tune those in a little bit. Once we're happy with the configuration, we're gonna hop back over to the create channel. And from here, the GPT builder is offering a name for our new GPT. In order to align our GPT with our brand, we have to provide it with some more context. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can provide it with a PDF of a page, or you can simply copy and paste it into a Word document and save that document. What I'm going to do is access my website with a different version of GPT and have it provide me with its best estimation of my brand voice, my audience, my tone and style, my unique selling propositions, and my engagement objectives. So let's take a look at how to do that. I have a new tab open and I selected ChatGPT plugins and I have the web reader plugin enabled. I'm telling ChatGPT that I want you to crawl my homepage and I want you to extract all of that information. Now you don't have to select your homepage. You can also select a blog post. If that's more indicative of what your style is and your tone, that would make the most sense. If you've done everything correctly, you should get a response similar to the one that's on the screen. Now, again, this is going to break down everything that I asked it for, including my audience, my brand voice, my USPs, my engagement objectives, and my tone and style. And it even included some visuals and imagery and overall impressions. The reason I'm doing this is so that all of the responses for ChatGPT are going to be written in my brand identity. The generic GPT is going to give you a generic tone and style. But now that I have this information, I can provide this to my GPT and ensure that it's written exactly with my website in mind. You no longer have to worry about getting generic responses from ChatGPT because it's going to be written in alignment with your website. So I copied that information and I went back to our GPT tab. And you can tell that it's working because you're going to get this little icon down at the bottom that says updating GPT. And then in the preview window, if it does change anything drastically, you'll notice it there as well. But again, it's always a good idea to go back into the configuration tab and make sure that everything looks according to your desires. The GPT builder is done and it tells me that our SEO Sage is now fine tuned to our specific brand needs and it's focusing on exactly what I want it to. And again, in the preview, we have an updated description of what this GPT bot does. For our next step, the GPT builder is recommending that we include a brand image. Now you can have Dolly create the image for you, which I've done on the screen, but what I'm going to do is upload my brand logo in hopes that it becomes a lead magnet when I share this GPT. So at the top, we have our instructions. And again, you really want to look at this as you're working through the GPT builder because it's going to update it in real time. We also have conversation starters. Now, these don't have to necessarily be questions. You can also make them actions. For example, I have access the URL I provided and identify SEO opportunities. 
when you add a URL to message GPT and you click on the necessary action, it's going to analyze that page and provide you with an in-depth look at how you can improve the SEO. We can also upload files to our GPT. So again, in the beginning, I showed you how to create your audience, your brand voice, and all of that great information to really tailor your GPT. But here you can also upload documents so that it constantly refers back to them and ensures that they are in alignment. A little further down, we have our capabilities. Now, I want all of these toggled on because I want my GPT to have access to the internet. I want it to be able to create images using Dolly. And I also want to be able to provide it with my own data sets through advanced data analysis. But if you want a very basic GPT, you can simply toggle those off. To ensure that our new GPT is working correctly, I'm going to have it access one of the documents and retell me how I can steal my competitor's traffic and keywords using ChatGPT. Our new GPT called the document and it provided me with a bullet point breakdown of all the key points from that article. Now that we know that our GPT is working correctly, we're going to save it. And we're going to go to the top right hand corner and select whether you only want it to be for your own use or if you want to share it by link or make it public. I'm going to select public, click confirm, and we now have our SEO sage. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you can understand that this is a really powerful way for businesses to interact with a custom chat GPT bot. To thank you for following along with this tutorial, I'm going to include a link to the Content King GPT that I created. This GPT has everything you need to create optimized content for your website. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up anyway. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, this is Todd.